to Lingen District for model railway uh, in my man shed. Um, I haven't posted a video for a while because we've been quite busy. Um, we've taken on a new puppy, a new rescue. So for the last two weeks I've been busy uh, working with that little mischief maker. Um, so we've had that and I've had a, unfortunately I've had a death of a, of a friend in the village. Um, so and my volunteering work with uh, within the village is also sort of put a stop on things but now we're sort of settling back down into it and I can crack on a minute. Um, so this episode is all about what I've been doing in the little bit of time that I have uh, been able to get in the shed. Um, I have uh, been working on several parts of the railway, uh, mainly the uh, incline from the mine track. Um, uh, one of the first things I've had to do was to work out uh, the slope. Um, I cut some scrap plywood and uh, glued it together, made a little track, uh, glued it together, had to wait for that to dry and it took about uh, quite a while for that to go because it wasn't, it's was quite flimsy. Um, and then work out the drop and then work out the incline. Um, I've glued down, I had to glue down the points at the top to make sure they were in place before I could get the slope. Um, and then I've got the video of what I've done after that. Now obviously it's not finished, this is part one. I've got another one following up straight afterwards um, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you to all the people who have made left comments and thank you to the people who subscribe to the channel. Um, it does uh, make good reading and I do enjoy your comments. While I've been uh, not in the shed, I have been looking at YouTube uh, videos of all of you. Um, one thing I came across, uh, I've said right at the beginning that my model label is roughly based on the Avon Valley and there's a tunnel that runs from the Avon Valley into the Rhondda Valley. Um, it's the longest, it was the longest tunnel in Wales, of two miles long, just over two miles. And I came across a video of um, a group of guys in the Rhondda who are trying to raise money to open the tunnel again. And they did a... Um, a video with uh, the guy, the presenter from Homes Under the Hammer, and uh, they drop down into the tunnel and they, they, they tell the story about the tunnel itself, which is still there, it's still in good condition, it's just both ends are blocked off, and they're trying to raise money um, to open the tunnel fully and have it turned into a cycle track so potentially you could ride from the Rhondda Valley right down the Avon Valley to Port Talbot and then home to Swansea. Uh, I'll try and put the link up here for you. If not, it'll be down in the in the comments at the bottom. Um, please have a look at it. It's really interesting. Um, very, um, very interesting in the way that the, the guys are trying to do the work. Um, and if you do feel inclined, if you just join um, the Ronda, the Tri Ronda and Triorki, uh, uh club uh, that they've got there and you pay £10 for a year of updates and that £10 goes towards raising the money to um, hopefully open the tunnel in the next couple of years. It's a really really good interesting project. Anyway enough of me waffling on um, I'll leave you to the video videos and the first one will um, show you what I've been doing on the slope with the wood. ta -da for now. So I've stuck down the junction there and then I've created the track stuck that down there and basically what I'm now doing is constructing this ramp that's going to come down just glue two bits together there to hold it in place and then that will come down roughly to about there a little bit higher than that and then there'll be a, a curve coming round joining onto that bit there that hopefully will give my direction from the valley or the mine uh, track which goes up back the train will reverse back up to there stop over the bridge points will change and then it'll come down and run down the track now no trains will go up this track because it's too steep but the trains will come down so I'm hoping even though it's about three and a half percent incline um, I won't get a runaway train we'll find out if I do then I'll just have to raise the corner up and uh, have it curved a raised bit of curve coming round I still might do that actually I don't know yet but that's where we are for now so 
So I'm just using scrap bits of wood, a bit of wood glue. I'm going to make a support for that. I've just got a block of wood in there for now. Um, yeah, so hopefully that will work out. So on this bottom curve here, I've decided to put this um, slope in, but I needed some form of riser to to lift it up. But I didn't have any. I didn't want to go up and buy um, another pack. But I did have some left over from my original pack when I did the hill. So what I decided to do, uh, I thought I'd give it a try. I measured the beginning, measured the height at the end, and then I concocted this little thing. So two strips of wood, and I worked out um, where they positioned. I then was able to clamp two pieces of wood on either end, and then using a hot wire cutter, run the hot wire cutter along the wood and that gave me the perfect cut to make one of them so if you've got any of these left over don't don't go and buy a new one because you need to get that thin slope there just use a hot wire cutter and um, get yourself some more as long as you know what the final that one is at the end what height that is or should be for that length then uh, it works out pretty quick so I thought oh, I better show you that um, so what I'm now waiting for I've now got that done I've uh, built the track joined it all together soldered it when I could solder it just to make sure it's straight I've now worked out the length of the wood got that gluing together I've put the little piece of uh, plywood there just to hold it that's just the, the height where I want it at that point once I've got that glued and it's dried and I put with this long piece of wood the, the runaway down I can then work out the heights underneath it so for example there and then I can just put some um, pillars just to hold it up because all that's going to be covered by the mountain and a, and, a, and a farm underneath it anyway so yeah I'm pretty pleased with that so far there's very little I can do now um, I'm going to you see the mess in here at the minute I'm going to tidy up uh, just show you this is what happens when I work and I get I work on different bits and it gets thrown everywhere well what I'm going to do next now is um, give the bridge a final spray to finish that off because once I've done that once I've put that in position over here um, and I've laid the track on top I'm not going to be able to lift it back up so uh, give it a final spray as to what I want it to be and then um, put it back in position and then I've got uh, a piece of track here uh, where have I put it? It's here somewhere uh, I'm losing all the sense of proportion at the minute so this bit of track here I've left it on top yeah so this bit of track here that will then join on to the end there then I can solder the wires in and then I'll have got it all the way around to this point ready for this which is going to be where the mountain is going to be um, that is going to be just one table like a ta raised table on top of this one which I can just lift off if I need to get to the track underneath uh, the other thing I've also done it's only a little bit but um, I was getting a problem here when I was running the trains round where they were decoupling and that was because I had coming around at one angle then it was coming back into another angle so what I've done is I've just taken that up lifted that up and then just smooth that out so it runs straight and then curves in so it's just to help with the stop them decoupling it's usually with the longer wagons rather than the short wagons um, yeah uh, and then I've got to wire up this last track which means then I've got all my track down from this side all the way around down and then all I've got left to do is the fiddle yard which I can't do until I've done this rise um, once I've got that in position and I've got that set then I can work on the fiddle yard but yeah <laughs> I'm gonna tidy up now but uh, thank you for watching uh, I hope I'm not the only scruffy one in this doing this but there you go see you another time Del Bauer Thank you.